Now, this is what happens when it's still dark outside. This room does not project enough light now. But, on a side note, well, on the note of this video, Julia Roberts, let's talk about Julia Roberts before we get into this. She had a hugely successful hits in the 1980s with Pretty Woman, Flatliners, numerous other ones, Steel Magnolias, and then all of a sudden, poof, she was gone for a good span, like let's say maybe between five to seven years maybe, she was just gone, and uh, when she came back, she made a huge impact on the romantic comedy um, genre of films. Basically, she wasn't doing movies like Flatliner anymore. She wasn't doing... Um, well, she sort of was doing movies like Steel Magnolias, but she was doing more of a political take on those um, with movies like Aaron Brockovich, but that was a little bit later on. But right when she came back, around 90... Six, 95, 90, I think it was about 96 she came back when she started doing these more romantic comedies with uh, My Best Friend's Wedding and of course this one in 1999 that I'm going to talk about, Runaway Bride. She definitely put her indent on that genre. For a long while it was her movies. Like there wasn't... Um, anyone that could come close to her. It was like almost every year there would be at least one Julia Robert movie like this out. But let's get into this movie here. Runaway Bride. This sort of came on the tail end of um, her doing these kind of movies. She, like I said, she got into movies like Aaron Brockovich and then she was in um, other suspenseful, like, um, suspenseful dramas. Not that she wasn't doing those before with, like, um, uh, Sleeping with the Enemy, but she got more back into those after her, like, maybe three to four year run doing these movies. But this movie here, Runaway Bride, basically is the story of Richard Gere, who is a, um, writer who writes columns for a, news a newspaper, and... The ideas that he's been putting out for the longest time haven't been, they've been successful. They've, um, people have read them, but they've also been very negative. And he was looking for that story. He was known for writing his stories at the last moment. Uh, basically, he would find or hear someone's conversation and then take that perspective and turn it into a news article. In the case here, he hears about Julia Roberts, who is a person who has been engaged multiple times, who has um, said to her significant other that they're going to get married. They make it to the wedding day, and she can't fully commit. She gets to the altar, but she's never said the, the I do's. So that's his premise, is to find this person. He's overheard. Um, at a bar about about this person and he uh, is on a mission to find her so he ends up looking all around he ends up finding Julia Roberts but not only finding Julia Roberts he also falls in love with her and he has to somehow convince her that being married is okay and that's the thing that is the hardest part for him and I feel that that even though there are a lot of comedy aspects of this movie that that's the real romantic part of this movie is for him to actually prove to Julia Roberts that it's okay to walk down the altar and that she doesn't always have to run away from um, any issues that she has she can discuss it and there's points where it looks like she's gonna bolt and there's points where she does bolt um, they actually make it to the altar the first time, and she ends up taking off. And then, spoiler, at the end, she's actually the one that proposes to him and actually makes it to the altar. 
So, um, on the front you have her wearing running shoes, of course, getting ready to take off. She's taken off on horse, she's taken off by foot, um, by car as well, I believe. On the back you have Julia Roberts and Richard Gere there. You have um, Julia Roberts, Richard Gere, and uh, who else is on this? Joan Cusack, uh, Hector Elzold, and Rita Wilson. And this was released through Paramount Pictures, like I said, Paramount Touchstone Pictures in 1999. Definitely one that you'll have to check out. If you love romantic comedies, it's definitely one that's right up your alley and definitely worth putting in. Like I said, any Julia Robert movie from between about 1996 to well, about 2000 are great, great, great movies. So, uh... I want to get your guys' take on Runaway Bride. What do you guys think about Julia Roberts when she came back going right into the romantic comedy role and pretty much taking control of it and becoming the key figure of it for that time frame? Uh, let me know what you guys think about um, the rest of the movies that she's been in similar to these, the, the romantic comedies and the romantic comedy genre at that time. Just leave a comment below. Um, also, if you want to hit me up on Twitter, my Twitter link is below as well. If you could also hit the thumbs up button below and show me um, that you guys actually enjoy these videos. Just below, it only takes a second. It would be amazing if you guys could do that. And uh, if you haven't subscribed to this channel, all you got to do is just hit the subscription button below. And definitely check out the other videos that I've reviewed so far. I'm going to continue this and just keep on reviewing uh, movies and music. Just stuff in general. So, uh, 